Hey, it's Sam back with you. Video number two, just sharing some random thoughts. All right, let's get after it. Video number one, I, start, I tried to talk about this and I got sidetracked talking about uh, whatever I talked about in video number one. Got way off the reservation, but it was good stuff. Check that one out. Now, to this video. You see May 6, 2005, April 2007. In the previous video, I talked about May 6, 2005. This day here represents when I actually quit my job the first time. It was great. I'm like, oh, you're going to be great. Whatever you do, blah, 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 blah. Uh, went bankrupt. Went back, got another job in the company, making a lot less money. But I, let me is my mic on. The mic's on. It's always good to make sure your mic's on when you're talking. And uh, anyway, long story short, ended up going back 90 days later after I went bankrupt. And April 2007 is when I quit again. And I quit this, the, the, the next time. Da -da -da -da, leg stutter. God, I talk fast. Boy, hey, if you couldn't talk right for a while, you'd be trying to fit as many words in as you can too. Okay? So... With that being said, by the way, I shot a how, how I Stop Stuttering video and just put it on YouTube a couple years ago for the hell of it. It's got like 10, 11,000 views, man. I get messages every day from people who, that's awesome. Wow, I'm going to quite stop stuttering. Like, that's freaking awesome. You can make a difference just shooting a video on, you know, encouraging somebody and they'll watch it. And I kid you not. I kid you not. I get messages all the time from that one video, How to Stop Stuttering. It's awesome. So I quit my job the second time, April 2007. It wasn't a much fanfare. Matter of fact, it was like, hey, dude, the hell out of here. All right, you and your entrepreneurial BS, okay? The hell out of here. Uh, I had no more life rafts. Um, my get-out-of-jail-free cards were used up. I had to really do something now. So it was either sink or swim, to use a really overused cliche. But here's the good news. I'd already failed, so I knew how to fail, and I knew how to get myself back up off the ground. See, here's what happens. You take all the money in the world. All the money in the world, take it from everybody. Every billionaire, everybody in Saudi Arabia, North America, all over the place, take all their money. Put it on an airplane and fly it over the world and just throw it out. Within 18 months, all that money is going to end up right back in the hands of the same people anyway. Why? Because they know how to make it back. They got the blueprint, right? They know how to do it. So some of you may be like, duh, it's cheesy. I believe I'm reading that motivational book. Hey, I'll tell you what, man. All right, look around. It ain't rocket science, all right? You look at people that have a negative attitude, you know, they wake up, every, everything puts them in a bad mood. If you're easily offended and you're looking to be offended when you wake up, you're going to be offended, all right? If you're looking for a reason to have a bad day, guess what? You're going to have a bad day. If you wake up in a state of gratitude, not Pollyanna, rose-colored glasses, but at least you're like, hey, hey, I woke up on the right side of the ground. I got one shot at this thing called life. Eh, I'll make the most of it today. And I'm not going to be so easily mad and upset about things. And you'll probably have a much better day, subsequently a better week, a better month, a better year, and a better life. You know, if you don't believe me, try it out for yourself and see how it goes. So in April 2007, when I quit, I said, you know, I'm going to put this great attitude thing to work because that's all I got. Got no friends anymore, got no job, got no steady money coming in anymore, but I can change one thing and I can make sure I got that. And it's a great attitude. And when you have a great attitude, you attract individuals who have a great attitude. I can't even tell you the individuals, especially online, that I've been able to attract into my life just by having a great attitude. Um, now, I like to mix it up online, too. Don't get me wrong. You know, if you follow me on Facebook, you know. I mean, I love to engage people. Oh, talk about religion and politics. You want to go, you want to buy me a Guinness or a Bud Light, doesn't matter, either one. Talk religion and politics all night long. Love it, man. Engage. But... I also like to attract individuals into my life that are real and they're authentic. Okay, these people are authentic. Meaning, what's the definition of authentic? To me, it means whether you see them mowing their lawn or at the grocery store or hosting a webinar, <clears throat> they're the same person. You know, and you can't say that about everybody. You know, I've shared the stage with a lot of people who lack authenticity. Meaning, when the bright lights are on and they got that clicker in their hand and they're doing their PowerPoint and they're you know razzing and dazzling the stage, they're that one person. Get them outside of that environment, completely different. If you have authenticity and you have a great attitude, you're going to go pretty far. And you notice I haven't said anything about money yet because that wasn't even in my plans. Like, how was I going to pay my bills? I probably should have been thinking, but ignorance really is bliss sometimes where if you're like, huh, not really paying attention to the bills part, how those are going to get paid. I just want to have a great attitude, start creating content. I had my podcast going for a couple of years at that point. I learned how to blog a little bit. And I started speaking locally here to 10 people. You know who you are in the Cincinnati area. You, you know, brought me in to speak to your little network marketing groups of 10 or 12 people, hour and a half away. Drove to Rockford, Illinois one time. Nobody showed up. Uh, imagine that, driving eight hours, staying at the Notel Motel, and nobody shows up, right? Awesome, awesome time. But then things started to click. And 
I'm not even going to talk about money and how much money was made and all that good stuff. All I'm saying is that none of that would have happened had I not attracted the individuals after April of 2007. Because up to that point, since 1990, I'd only known one thing, and that's how to do a job. That's how to be an employee. And that's how to be an order taker. Not Nothing about being creative. Every time I tried to be creative, got shot down. Right? No, but you don't, you don't, and then you look, you're looking for creativity. That's the morgue. Okay. The, the corporate graveyard is where dreams go to die. All right. All those cubicles, those are just grave sites. All right. Because anybody with an original idea, you're not going to bring it to your boss because then it makes your boss look bad and they got to get promoted before you get promoted them all, all the way up the corporate pyramid. It goes. Okay. You want to be creative. You want to be successful as an entrepreneur. Bring a great attitude. Bring immense gratitude for what you're doing and bring one good idea. Come on. Everybody's got one good idea. Take that idea and monetize it. Start a video like this, just like the one you see. It. My PowerPoint. Look at how incredibly sassy this PowerPoint is. Isn't that awesome? It's got so much going on. You got the black text with the font working. I got an arrow inside of there. Come on, man. You don't need to be a technical whiz either. You just got to have a message. You can monetize any message you want to monetize, but you got to get away from the people that are going to drag you down like a cement block tied around your damn foot. All right, so here's my message today. Do one thing, just one thing. My God, there's a billion things that you could monetize online and offline, even just speaking. Who would have thought a next stuttering college dropout could monetize a message going on what? Eight years straight, nine years now without having to cash a paycheck? You can do it. Get yourself around people that will inspire you and empower you and not drag you down. And also have people that will uh, take a different opinion other than yours and say, hey man, I'm not so sure that's the best way to do it. You don't want a bunch of yes men around you, all right? People that hold you accountable. So with all that being said, the whole point of this video, take a shot. Don't be like everybody else. Don't play it safe. Everybody talks a good game going into the following year, into the new year. I'm going to lose weight. Well, January 15th, 90% of the people stop going to the gym, okay? That's National Quitters Day. Listen to my podcast every January. We do a National Quitters Day show on January 15th to celebrate everybody that gave up. Don't be that person. Just pick one good idea, preferably one that you're really passionate about. And get after it right now. Don't wait. Stop the video. Do it right now.